everybody, it's Anna, my trusty sidekick Mookie. Today I wanted to talk about summer bedding and buying blankets and quilts. Pendleton is really known for being made in the U.S. They have very good echo conscious scores and their factories do try to use less water, create less waste, and they do use biodegradable packaging when possible. I do like Pendleton a lot as a company. Company. They have made Indian trade blankets for 150 years. They used to supply blankets to Native American Indians that were on the West Coast and those blankets were a very integral part of that community because they were used as a value system and traded between Native people for various different things. And there are good relationships with Pendleton between a lot of different tribes. They made a special quilt for the Museum of the American Indian, which is part of the Smithsonian, and it raised close to $300,000 for that museum. They've also done a National Parks project, and that's raised close to $700,000. They also have a Native American college fund program and there are specific blankets that if you buy them, an amount of that goes to this college fund. And that's all good, but they also made a blanket that was $5,000 out of white buffalo hair. That is pretty egregious because white buffaloes are very sacred to a lot of Native people and they probably wouldn't make a blanket out of that. But if they did, it definitely wouldn't be sold for any amount of money. That is something that when I found that out about Pendleton, I was pretty shocked. They also use a lot of different Native American designs and they share information about that. They say like which tribe or national park inspired the blanket. They don't always give an amount of money to that tribe for using that pattern. They are definitely profiting off of Native American designs and motifs and they're a privately owned company so there's no way of knowing how much money they're making off of this but I would say that the indigenous looking designs are their most popular designs. The blankets have been featured in a lot of different fashion magazines. The really sad thing is that many Native Americans do like these blankets, but they would never be able to afford a $500 blanket because poverty is definitely something that is integral to the Native American experience. I'm part Cherokee. My relatives were able to avoid having to go to a reservation and they didn't march in the Trail of Tears because they weren't documented. Their records were burnt and pretty much everyone in the town where my my grandfather grew up knew that they were part Indian so he always feared what would happen if he had to go to a reservation. He was born when they were still sending all the Native Americans to reservations without getting too deeply into it. That family was so poor that for his Christmas they would give him an orange that he could share with his five other siblings. The idea of them really making Native American American art and blankets more popular, like accepted across mainstream America is a good thing. But I think the fact that a lot of people who are descended from Native Americans wouldn't be able to buy those products is kind of sad. I think that Pendleton could probably do a better job of making products that are made in America because that's a big part of their identity as a company is saying that they're made in America. But I just wanted to do like an honest review because I feel disappointed in myself and I also feel disappointed in Pendleton and I feel disappointed in what's available to buy and like we have so much choice in terms of how things look but I feel like we have so little choice when it comes to buying things that are really made in an ethical way and in a closer location to where we actually live. I do feel like when I have the Pendleton blanket on my bed, it gives me a reminder of being in the Pacific Northwest, of being in Oregon and like all the delicious food that we've eaten and the really like kind laid back people that live there. So I am happy about my decision, but I was expecting at least 
part of my quilt to be made in the US. When I got it, the label said China and to some degree, I should have tried to do more research. I did look up all the blankets online and since I was looking for one that was really lightweight, I read the different reviews for different prints because some are made with thicker cotton material and maybe have more filling than others. And when I went back and I looked, it did say imported, but I thought that it would be finished in Mexico or somewhere closer to the United States. I also tried to look online and find actual Indian trade blankets. I couldn't find any that made blankets that didn't have synthetic or recycled fibers and I have nothing against recycling fibers or synthetic materials. In general, I think it's good to recycle, but the thing is that I have low blood pressure and one of the side effects of that is that my body doesn't regulate its temperature as well. I was using a blanket that had synthetic fibers and I was waking up sometimes two or three times in the middle of the night to change my pajamas because I had completely sweat through all of them and that's an issue not just because it's very unpleasant to be that sweaty that many times in the middle of the night but it also dehydrates you which can further lower your blood pressure and that's really not good. I really wanted blankets that only have natural fibers. I did find some woven cotton blankets that are woven by Native Americans in Mexico on Etsy and they only use 100% cotton. I couldn't find blankets that had woolen cotton and I think that I probably will buy some of those falsa blankets but they are especially when you want to get a large one they are expensive thank you guys so much for watching if you hung all the way in here please consider subscribing and i promise that the next video we watch is going to be a little bit more upbeat